All right, and then I'm going to finish up with just uh, uh, what, what I think we need to keep saying and, and uh, we'll, we'll need to keep saying for a lot of years. South Dakota State reclassified four years ago. They went through a, a process of changing the athletic department. The chemistry book did not change, all right? Did not change, all right? The, the contract for the, the accounting professor did not change. But the athletic department went through the process of changing the face of South Dakota State University, okay? And there are a number of other changes that need to occur that we need to all, I've said this before here, set it out the, the golf course, we need to all, if you're a jackrabbit, you need to reclassify, okay? And, and I'm gonna try to give you a picture, instead of just trying to say, say I'm gonna give you a picture of what that means. Yesterday I looked at the plans for an indoor practice facility at South Dakota State. Looks like the Taj Mahal. I'm not kidding, I salivated, I, I started drooling when I looked at it. You know, I, I don't know when it'll happen, but I, but I know if we all reclassify, it'll happen. And the faster we reclassify, the faster we'll get it. And every 21, every, every athlete and all 21 of our sports will step into that and have a positive experience. So I challenge you when you heard that statement and you think about Governor Dugard's cut 10% across the board, I, where is your heart? Can we do that or can't we do that? If you're reclassified, you are trying to figure out how you can get involved in that. Whether it's supporting it or you know verbally or supporting it financially. And I, I don't I get right in the face when I'm asking. I'm not asking for money here. I'm asking for people to reclassify. I'm asking for conservative, rural South Dakotans like I am to think big. That's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for instead of three thousand season ticket holders, eight thousand. Last place I said that, I, you know, people jumped in their chairs, okay? Why not? You know, when we went to Montana in, in uh, 93, there were 14,000, now there's 25,000 every game. Same deal, same deal. There's, there's, a, there's a grizzly paw print on every street corner in Missoula, Montana, all right? And that's a bit of a stretch, but it's pretty, pretty rampant, okay? What does it mean to reclassify? Find a way to get it done. Be a total supporter. Trust the people. You want to trust people? Trust Dr. Sheba. All right. We have a great university. You know that. And he is a great leader. All right. And he he brought the board of regents over to our facility, pointed at the blueprint, and looked at him in the eye and said, "We need this facility, along with upgrades and research and, and, and test tubes and all that other stuff. He's got to take care of. And in the athletic department, basketball." Uh, Volleyball, track, it's still the most valuable team in our, uh, in our, in our program is our baseball program. I mean, those, those guys jump on the bus, they practice in some uh, indoor uh, gym after the rec volleyball team gets done, and they go win the doggone conference. Unbelievable. You know, uh, think what an indoor facility would do for those guys. And then, I, I don't know if we, we get, Justin Sell is a great leader. I don't know if we have a great leader in the football program, but uh, as you trickle down through SDSU, SDS athletics and SDSU football, reclassify, all right? And if you, if, if, if you want that further, I'll come down again, I'll come down next week, all right? No, I'll talk all about reclassifying. It's thinking big, it's believing, and it's taken me a while to do that. I'll be, I've never said that before publicly. I've never said that. But when we made this move, I looked at Dr. Ryan and I thought, internally, I thought, this is scary. It's been, the, it's been one of the most rewarding things for so many people. And uh, get, get, if you're not on board, get on board. You'll make a huge difference. All right? And that's what life's about, is making a difference. Okay? And I was not picking on Governor, I got a note here, cover, <laughs> cover with your butt. I was not picking on Dugard, don't get that back, because somehow, someway, I think he's my boss, right? So, so here, we got a great state led by Governor Dugard, Sheikwen Sell, right? Good, all right. Any questions? How much, how much does it cost to recruit a um, we, uh, our recruiting budget, and this includes everything about recruiting, all right, from the plane ticket to the meals when they're on campus to my per diem or the coach's per diem, our recruiting budget is $92,000, I think. That includes all of spring recruiting. Um, 
And now here, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands, or, but think about that. Is that a lot of money? Okay? That is, that is half of North Coast states. All right? That might be a third of Southern Illinois. So uh, am I whining? I just want people to reclassify. But we're going to keep working hard. So I, I don't know, but I know the total. And I know this. All right, we're flying a young man. We still need a detail. We're flying a young man out from California. Lots of times we fly him into Omaha and go pick him up because we can save 200 bucks on a plane ticket. And we don't call short scramble and have them do it because it costs us 30 extra dollars. We get on whatever those places are called. I'm not smart enough to do it. Expedia, you know what I'm talking about? And we get our own ticket. So I think we're good stewards of, uh, and I'm not, hey, and travel people, again, I stick my foot in my mouth. Travel people have to make their living too, right? But uh, we're, we're, we're being good stewards of the money. Where do they get that much more money? Um, Say your well, examples of North Dakota State. They the team makers. You want to be a member of the team makers? You, the minimum is $1,000, yeah? Yeah. And, and this, just uh, a, a different uh, expectation of being part of that that group. And uh, it's not coming from the state budget. I think some of it comes from uh, the the tickets they sell in the bars up there, or something like that. I, I you know I don't know what those things are. Scratch tickets or something like that. Here, let me give you the numbers. Southern Illinois, Northern Iowa's budgets are three point two million dollars for football. Okay, South Dakota State. I'm talking about everything, everything, salaries, everything. South Dakota State's is 1.9. Okay, uh, North Dakota State's is 2.8. I think that's a big difference. Coach, you got five from uh, Arizona here. How much have you had on uh, fallout as a result of those guys coming up here to the shooting? Uh, in, the, the, in the past. Yeah. Uh, well, the, our, our, our greatest major would be um, uh, Ryan Crawford, Isaiah Jackson, Jimmy Rogers, Danny Batten, and Chris Stone. All came up, uh, four came up one year, and then Danny Batten came a year later. He, he graduated, but he, was a, he wasn't he was redshirted. And four of those guys stuck. All right, one of them got drafted. Um, uh, one's a GA for us, another guy's a GA at uh, uh, University of Sioux Falls, so they stuck. Right. It is in the weather. You know, that's one thing we said. In, you know, you, 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 the Dykehouse Center, if you've been in there, I mean, it's got all that glass looking out over the field. Well, there's two and a half feet of snow in the field. All right? And we, we kids get there and they start talking about weather. You know, this, that, and the other thing. You know, I tell you what, when I'm with my family, when I'm with my loved ones, when I'm with the people that I care about, I'm not worried about the weather. Right? It does not matter. The facility doesn't matter, and so on. And so I don't think the weather has as much to do with it if a kid leaves, is this, he just doesn't fit. And that's why we need to do our work, to see if he fits. Okay? Um, and again, we, we try to not offer a kid if we don't, you know, if we can identify that. So, other questions? <laughs> you lost a coach to the Browns. Are you in the process of looking for a as a coach? Yeah, yeah. I, I, thanks for reminding me of that. Sean Menega. Our linebacker coach uh, was offered a position with the Cleveland Browns, uh, was offered the job uh, Wednesday, flew out Thursday, flew back Thursday, left Monday, right? So they have a little different budget than we have, too. Um, yeah, yeah. And again, the state of South Dakota, I love the state of South Dakota, but it is a lot of paperwork and a lot of hoops. And where other programs, uh, we'll just call a guy up and he'll be there the next day or two days. It's going to take us three years, to get, three weeks, excuse me, to get through the, the system. And I respect that, but uh, it's frustrating sometimes. We'll, we'll have 200 applicants for that job. Yeah, it will be, it'll be, it'll be humbling to go through that. Talk a little about Tyrell Cool. Tyrell, uh, <laughs> should have done that, right? Uh, Tyrell Cool. Uh, well, first of all, last year uh, he was identified uh, obviously as one of our best 11 players. You know, you put 11 on the field, and you need to get 11. Uh, Tyrell's natural position is running back, and we had two senior running backs. And I'm not saying that Tyrell wouldn't have been the best running back last year, although we had a pretty good one, pretty pretty good two of them. 
But Tyrell was willing to move the wide receiver, led us in receptions, and if you followed the Jackrabbits, uh, it got better every play, not every game, not every, you know, just phenomenal effort. He's going to move back to running back, uh, you know, is, is penciled in as the starter. Is a different runner than both the guys that graduated, but that's good too. Just a ton of talent, and, and uh, just it just has been a great addition to our football program. Is he senior? Uh, junior. Is he junior? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I don't even know what jersey we know what our color of jerseys are. So some of those questions are really tough. <laughs> so other other questions? And, 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 I mean, it, it's open game. Go ahead and shoot if you have, you have a question. <laughs> Maybe I missed it, but you said Morgan State is not coming. Did you get a final? We, 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 we got a verbal, <laughs> all right? The Lincoln recruiting, we can't announce, uh, we can't announce uh, who, we, who we're going to get until we get the sign. Because <coughs> we announced Morgan State. That got out, and they held the contract and looked around, and, and they chose to not come. Morgan State played in ESU, I think, last year, two years ago, and uh, in issue one. But, uh, Losing McKnight at uh, center, who's your backup center, and uh, what's the offensive line looking like? Uh, I don't think we've ever had a brighter pitcher at, at the, than we have at the, for the offensive line than we have this year. Uh, the backup was Will Castle. Will started against Nebraska because we moved Ryan to guard, so Will's played in, in a lot of football. He's played a lot of football. He's from Brandon Valley. Uh, at one point, we started three redshirt freshmen. Uh, Brian Witzman, left tackle. Um, Alex Parker, left guard. And Josh, Josh Cage started uh, one or two games at right guard. Uh, so good, good, it's, it's bright, right? In fact, we're putting a lot of pressure on those guys right now. If those guys are in watching film now on their own, it's, it's, a, it's a neat group. So Coach Matters does a great job with those guys. We did lose Tyler Lucci, who was, a, I think, a junior, going to be a junior, to a knee. He just, his, his knees are worn out at age 20, 21. And so he's going he's gonna to give up football. Uh, but we've got a good crew now. So Zach Buckner is a starter for us at right guard also. And then John Fick, both are. Buckner will be a senior, and Fick is going to be a junior. So good players. Ornery, ornery guys. So, any, anything else? Can I say one more thing about Nebraska football? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thanks a lot.